Hey guys, this is Blaine, and I'm back with another video. And this, I'm going to test Mantle. I'm going to test Mantle against DirectX. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prove my hardware, of course, in case you haven't seen it yet, or what the heck? Okay, now that's just weird. It decreased my graphics score. Now that's weird. That is weird. But, okay, that is very odd. Went from a 7.9 to a 7.5 when I did the mantle update. But, <laughs> okay. I guess that's to help not bottleneck the CPU. I have no idea. But besides that, I did not notice that until now. Um, I have the FX 8350. And then, let's see. We got our Asus R9-280X. Is it send? Okay. And then, let's see. Yeah, R9-200 series, 3 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, gotta be in there somewhere. 384-bit. The only 384-bit is a 7970, which is the 280X. It's essentially a 7970. Um, okay, we're going to test this on the follow single unit track for more consistent results on extreme settings, because why not? I'm going to do DirectX first. I just hope you guys can see the numbers before I forget I turn the light up. So the light doesn't reflect off the monitor again, like last time, which kind of messed up the whole video. And don't worry, the uh, test is not of any sound yeah. off. Remember, this is DirectX, not Mantle, right now. Six FPS, in case you guys can't see that. There's five thousand four hundred objects. You number of units. I highly doubt that's on screen, but it's possible. FPS. I'm going to run two tests for you guys. I'm going to run two different tests of these DirectX and Mantle. And DirectX and Mantle, of, I think, I mean, to me, it's the most stressful, so we need to do that one. So we're going to do those two. Get a good rough idea. I'll just tell you right now, it's a huge performance increase going from DirectX to Mantle. My opinion. But uh, FPS backs it up too.
toilet appears. We keep track of the lowest FPS I see because it does not give you the lowest. So you guys have a rough idea what the lowest is. So far, it's the lowest we now saw was Okay, so 6.2 from what I think is the lowest. Could be wrong. Hope you guys keep track. You can tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. But let's see, average FPS 26.86, which is pretty much exactly what I got last time I did this. Uh, okay, we did direct X first, so now we're doing mantle. It would really suck if I screwed this up because you can't cancel it because there's no device input once you start it. But uh, you get the picture. And I'll keep the lowest track on the mantle. Pretty sure it never hits the single digits though. Pretty sure, but it could be wrong. 60 FPS. Ten. Ten FPS. Right now.
60 FPS. Alright, so lowest FPS was 10 for that. For Manti. Okay. Now these are our two results. Direct X is our API. We have the scenario follow, that's the scenario I was using. The average FPS for Direct X was a meteor. A mere 26.86, which you know, hey, it's not bad, but man, it's, like it's twice as much almost. It's interesting now. Last time I think I ran it, I got 50.08 frames. That might have been a different test, but here I'm getting 44.95 for mantle. So that's 90% I think 88 to 90% I would think so yeah hopefully you guys can see that it's mantle and that's direct X both on the highest settings now we're going to do a tracked randomized camera for greater variation Let's do that. Well, actually, let's do the RTS. Real time RTS like scene. Long range camera for RTS like scene. So we're going to do that on extreme. Just start in DirectX first. And run it. Fifteen FPS right now. Just keeps going down. Ten. Ten FPS. I'll keep the lowest score on this one too. I'm gonna try to. Obviously, I can't be exact because I'm using my eyes. I'll do my best. All right, nine point four for right now. Man, that's a lot of objects. Looks pretty cool though. It's more over three thousand objects on screen. I'm getting seven FPS. Be surprised if it hit 3 FPS. There's a lot of stress with this computer to handle. I think it's more of a graphics card now. It's definitely not the CPU. I can't even feel any heat coming out of my CPU now. Or the radiator. 5.7 FPS so far.
5.6 is the lowest apparently for right now. Let's see what happens. When I just downloaded this at like uh, I think about 10 p.m. two or three hours ago, I would, I'm guessing. Not exact. Five point two. Wow, we're getting five point three, guys and girls. Of course, you got over 5,000 units. What number you have to make it 3.8. Wow. Well, I'm definitely going to sleep after this. <laughs> Five is our new lowest. Alright, looks like 3.4 is our new lowest, or is our lowest for DirectX, and wow, that's really small average, but that's the most stressful I would ever think of. Alright, now we're going to do Mantle, Let's see what it gets, just off the top of my head, probably 50% to 100%, well, no, 50% to 80 to 90% better, I'd have to say. So far, 30 FPS. Now, this is definitely what separates the girls from the boys, though, probably. 20 FPS. Damn. This will be very, very interesting. 
14 FPS. Oh, 14 point. <sighs> now to me, like playing a game like this would be playable at like fifteen FPS. Cause if you look at it, you don't notice stuttering right now. Now you can notice it. Getting to about twelve. Over five thousand units. So far lowest is 10 FPS. Right now we're getting 20 FPS. Two FPS.
Alright guys, the lowest for this test was 10 FPS, and the lowest for the other one was uh, 3.4. Okay, so we got 18, and we got 6. So holy crap, that was actually 3 times the performance increase, that was 300% increase. 6.10 for DirectX, 18.86, or 18.89, I'm sorry, for Mantle, Mantle API, and uh, API is DirectX on this one. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you, wow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please like, subscribe, and comment. And please tell me what you think about Mantle. And you know, I, I would think Mantle would be like great for a game like uh, poor optimization for starters, and also for like StarCraft or something like that. All those you know fighters and stuff. I never played StarCraft, but I know there's a lot of objects in given games. So to me, that's what I think. It'd be good for like the next StarCraft or something like that. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think, and uh, you guys have a nice night, or day, wherever you are living or watching my video. And now I gotta figure out, he's stopping. Alright, you guys have a nice night.